Welcome to Nicholas Adoko blog series. What is the difference between atheism and agnosticism? The terms atheism and agnosticism stir up a variety of interpretations and connotations. When it comes to debating the existence of gods, the topic is complicated and frequently misinterpreted. Agnostics and atheists are fundamentally distinct, but not mutually exclusive, regardless of their motivations or approaches to the issue. Many persons who identify as agnostic also reject the label of atheist, even if it pertains to them technically. Furthermore, there is a prevalent misperception that agnosticism is more reasonable, whereas atheism is more dogmatic, and that the two are ultimately indistinguishable except in the details. This argument is invalid because it misrepresents or misunderstands everything involved, including atheism, theism, agnosticism, and even the nature of the belief itself. Let's look at the differences between being an atheist and being an agnostic, and clear the air of any misunderstandings. What is atheism? The term atheism comes from the Greek word theos, which means God, and the suffix ism is an English suffix that denotes an action, in this case, belief. The A in the beginning is used to express an opposing viewpoint. As a result, the term originally meant without believing in God. Atheism is the belief that there is no deity or that there is no God in a broad sense. Unfortunately, because there are so many varied viewpoints within atheism, it is not that straightforward. Gnostic atheism and agnostic theism are the two main divisions within atheism. The first will claim that they are positive there is no God and can prove it, while the latter will claim that they cannot be certain, but that there is most likely no God. It is widely assumed that an atheist would remain steadfast in their beliefs and possess an extremist viewpoint. This is not true in general, as many atheists welcome discourse between diverse points of view. What is agnosticism? The name agnostic comes from the Greek word gnosis, which means to know, and the A stands for opposite. Thus, the word originally meant not knowing or unknowable. Agnosticism believes that one can never know the world beyond sense and experience, or the real world, and does not judge whether or not there is a God. They make it clear that they have no idea whether or not God exists. It is unknown or unknowable if there is a God, the statement concludes. In that sense, agnosticism is more closely associated with a belief process than with a belief system. It has less to do with what a person believes and more to do with how they believe. Agnostics are frequently chastised for being indecisive and unwilling to take a firm stand. This is due to a misunderstanding of agnosticism, which holds the firm belief that we cannot have knowledge beyond the physical sphere, and hence cannot make any definitive claims about the existence of God. Differences between Atheism and Agnosticism The existence of God is addressed by both Atheism and Agnosticism. Because of their similarities, they are frequently misinterpreted or misunderstood. Unless one wishes to emphasize that both perspectives are despised by religious groups, this is about the limit of the similarities. A widespread misconception is that agnostics are automatically atheists. This is not correct, because there are agnostic theists who believe in the presence of God despite their inability to prove it. So, what are some of the additional features that differentiate the two belief systems? Atheism is the belief that there is no such thing as a God. Agnosticism does not claim to know whether or not there is a God. Furthermore, atheism, more specifically, Gnostic atheism, frequently asserts that the lack of proof for God is sufficient proof that he does not exist. Agnosticism does not prove the presence or non-existence of God, rather, it asserts that we cannot know, and hence that God can or cannot exist. Agnosticism and atheism have various classifications. Atheism is a belief system or worldview that, by definition, involves a belief system. Agnosticism is a knowledge philosophy that complements several belief systems. Each one is approached differently. Atheism is determined by what a person believes or does not believe, and it has to do with what they believe. Agnosticism is concerned with what a person knows or does not know, as well as how they believe. The two positions are not wholly opposed to one another but are simply dissimilar in form. Atheism is severe in that it argues there is no God, 
whereas agnosticism is neutral in that it makes no assertions either way. Atheism is generally associated with strong convictions that will not be swayed by evidence from different points of view. Other viewpoints and arguments will be given the benefit of the doubt by agnosticism. The belief in a hereafter is a significant distinction between the two perspectives. According to atheism, we are here for no other reason than to live, and there is nothing after death. Agnosticism holds the same position as the presence of God in that we simply cannot know everything, and while it is possible that there is life after death, it is equally doubtful. These points of view are in direct opposition to one another. Atheism would dismiss agnosticism as insubstantial and unwilling to take a clear stance. Agnosticism, on the other hand, would criticize atheism as being too contentious and radical. These points of view are in direct opposition to one another. Atheism would dismiss agnosticism as insubstantial and unwilling to take a clear stance. Agnosticism, on the other hand, would criticize atheism as being too contentious and radical. An agnostic can be an atheist, but an atheist cannot be an agnostic, it must be stated. Because atheism denies the existence of any deity, they cannot share agnosticism's belief in a possible god. Final thoughts. Atheists, agnostics, and non-believers are all labeled as non-believers in the actual world. The majority of scholars classify the two as non-religious, meaning they are not linked with any religion. At the end of the day, whatever anyone decides to believe in or doubt is entirely up to them. Atheism and agnosticism aren't going anywhere anytime soon. In truth, the world's population of non-religious people is growing. Millennials are at the forefront of embracing the ideals, as many see religion as a barrier to global unity. More and more of them are disengaging from religion and prefer raising their children away from it. Kindly like and subscribe to this YouTube channel for more content. Please if you are yet to subscribe, it's absolutely free, for those of you thinking you have to pay money before you subscribe, hell no. It's absolutely free. After subscribing, click on the bell icon to get notified when we post a new video. Thanks for watching, I hope it was helpful. Let me tell you a little bit about Nicholas Adoko Technologies. We help businesses and companies build an online presence by developing web, mobile, desktop and blockchain applications. As a company, we work with your budget in developing your ideas and projects beautifully and elegantly, as well as participate in the growth of your business. We do a lot of freelance work in various sectors such as blockchain, booking, e-commerce, education, online games, voting and payments. Our ability to provide the needed resources to help clients develop their software packages for their targeted audience on schedule is unmatched. Be sure to contact us if you need our services. We are readily available. Contact us via our website at nicholasadoko.com.